We've made the observation that vectors have lengths and directions. Let's try to understand the process of scalar multiplication in those terms. Let's introduce this material via example. Let's look at the vector one, two. Well, the point one comma two is here. So there's the vector one, two. Now let's look at a different vector, the scalar product three times one, two. Well, this is the vector three, six, and we can represent that graphically. The point three, six is here. So the vector three, six is this vector. And you remember when I said that every vector has a direction, that it's just literally the direction the arrow is pointing in? Well, this vector, one, two, and this vector, three, six, are pointing in the same direction. So scalar multiplication did not change the direction of this vector. What it did do was change its length. And how much did it change its length? Well, this is the length of one, two. This is also the length of one, two. So is this. The length got multiplied by three. Another way of saying that would be that the length got scaled by a factor of three. Hence the phrase scalar multiplication. Let's do a second example. Let's take this vector one, two, and multiply it by a negative scalar, by negative two. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. We're multiplying this vector by this scalar, and that's negative two, negative four. The point negative two, negative four is here. So the vector is there. And this scalar multiplication did change the direction of the vector. Instead of going up and to the right, it's going down and to the left. But it changed the direction in a very specific way. It perfectly reversed it. So this vector and this vector and this vector are all on the same straight line. It's just that this vector is pointing down the line instead of up it. And we see this too. And the length of this vector is twice the length of this vector. 
So if I were to summarize all that, scales are multiplication by k, scale is the length of the vector, and then depending on whether k is positive or negative, it either does not change the direction of the vector, or it perfectly reverses the direction of the vector.